Hello and welcome back to another Forward Cameras Vintage Film Camera tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the classic 1980s Polaroid Impulse series. Um, so the Impulse series, I guess, is a more like contemporary feel to the original sort of boxy Essex 70 One Step Rainbow series or even the Button series from the 70s and early 80s. Now, these cameras are way slower because they use SX-70 film, which is 140 ASA or ISO film, and require really bright sunlight, and usually the flash is on the top. So, um, here we go. This camera takes 600 film, which is a way faster film, okay? And um, it's because it's a faster film, 640 ASA or ISO film, it could be adaptable to many different circumstances that the the sort of slower SX-70 film would have a harder time, right? So this camera you could use indoors, right? It has a built-in flash, um, and it's not gonna, the flash is not gonna blind you as much as maybe the one-step cameras or the SX-70 flash is very, very bright. Um, and this one is good for many, many different, it's a faster film, so you could take faster photos, and that's awesome. So how do we use these cameras? Now, um, they have many different features depending upon which one you buy. The one that we're going to be talking about today is the Impulse SE, but most of them are pretty much, you know, similar idea in how we use it. So how do we use this particular one? Well, it's an autofocus camera, meaning it has a sonar that bounces the, the sound waves off of objects, and then it tells the camera how far away it needs to focus, um, which is awesome because you don't have to do anything. But there are other versions of the Impulse where you have to switch between lenses, close-up lens or far-away lens, and then some of them are just fixed focus, so probably beyond three or four feet you'll be in focus, um, whatever is there. This one will just do the focusing for you, and also it has a light meter, an automatic light meeting sy metering system, so it will perfectly expose your photo without any issues. Now, um, this not only has this sort of focusing system but it has a button here so you could set it up on a tripod and then press the button and it has a countdown till when it takes the photo after like 10 seconds I believe. So how do we use this camera? Well we use 600 Polaroid film black and white or color. We open up the side over here um, and now that we did that we have to put the film inside the camera and once we put the film in the camera, the film has the battery inside, we close the, the compartment, and then out pops this dark slide, which we could throw away or keep, right? We don't need it. Um, we don't wanna to touch the top of the film when we do this so that we don't damage the film. You know, we turn the camera on, you'll hear where it pops out, turn the camera on by pressing the on button, which is actually the flash too, see it nice and compact. Nice sort of vintage 80 vibe to this camera, which is really cool if you like that time period. Um, and the flash will be automatic. Now, what do we do? Over here is the shutter button. And you'll see a green light pop. It will like blink red and then blink, 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 and then it'll be green. And that will tell you the flash and the camera's ready to take a photo. It will automatically know when to take a photo with the flash or not. It will count down to the different uh, picture number and not only that, um, so uh, how, how else to use this film camera? So we frame, the ca the, we frame our photo in the viewfinder. Um, we're not going to be seeing through the lens, we're seeing through over here, so it's not an SLR camera like SX-70, but still fairly accurate. And then once this is green, where we hold the camera steady, we press the button, and then the film will eject from the front. And we don't want to put our finger anywhere near here so that it doesn't block so it doesn't block the film as it comes out. Um, we don't want to shake the photo. We don't want to have the photo in the sunlight. We want to put it in a dark place for 10 to 15 minutes to, and just kind of leave it alone even if it's in our pocket. Um, and you could check out our other video, video about how to take photos without getting drastically um, messed up by the temperature and then the surrounding humidity and so on and so forth. But um, so that's all there is to it, except we could also make it brighter by moving this, this over to the bright side, or we can move it, make the photo actually a little darker by moving it towards this side, but it's recommended to keep it in the center for our 600 camera. 
Now you wanna turn it off and not waste the batteries. We press this down and then it's completely off. No button's gonna work, nothing's gonna happen. And you can keep the film in the camera for about a month as long as it's in non-extreme temperature, non-extreme humidity conditions. Um, but I wouldn't leave it in much longer than that because batteries do drain and also it is film chemistry which can get messed up if we don't do it justice by um, taking photos with it. And you could check out our other videos too about how to store the film and so on and so forth. Um, it takes Polaroid, or Polaroid uh, 600 film, black and white or color, and they have cool borders. And a lot of them also have the strap attached, which is nice too. It has this sort of like vintage mid to late 80s vibe, which is really cool for a lot of people like that sort of look. A little boxy kind of, but also pretty nice and a solid camera. And I really like the ones that I've sold and a lot of my, our customers like them too. So please follow our YouTube channel, subscribe, check out our uh, Facebook forward cameras, our Instagram at forward cameras, Twitter at forward cameras, and also our Etsy shop where we sell these type of cameras as well as other vintage cameras uh, at forward cameras. So thanks for watching and following us and also subscribing. Take care. Bye-bye.